Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. We're using GoodNotes 6 today. So I just wanted to show you how to simply set up your own GoodNotes notebook so that you can create something totally unique and that's personalized for you and allows you to have a lot of creative freedom. We're just gonna jump right into it. Here I have a lot of notebooks in my GoodNotes app. I have paid the one-time fee. GoodNotes does have a free version. If you just wanna try this and see, you're just limited to three notebooks, which honestly is totally fine. It was a $30 one-time purchase, which I feel like was quite worth it for me. You'll also obviously need an Apple Pencil for this if you're gonna be drawing and writing on the page. You're just gonna go into your documents here in GoodNotes and hit new, and you're gonna hit notebook. And there's tons of options here. So first we're gonna start with the cover. You can also have no cover if you don't really mind and you don't really think you're gonna use it that much. So you just tap over here to the cover and there are tons of options. You can also import your own cover, which is what I did for my book journal. And to do that, you just wanna scroll all the way over here, just hit import from your files. You can create this yourself. You can find it on Pinterest. I personally received a bunch of journal covers from some digital planners that I have purchased. So you can see I have those uploaded here. For purposes of this video, we're just gonna go with a simple cover. You can go right here to change the color. You can go to customize color here and you can customize exactly how you want. Just go custom, even use the color wheel to get really granular on your color. You can change the accent color. There are tons of options. You can also name your notebook right here, as well as choose the size. This is also where you can choose landscape. If you are someone who wants your journaling on your iPad experience this way. I know a lot of people like to journal this way. I personally like the standard portrait mode. So that's what we're gonna be using today. So we're just gonna go back to the portrait here. I just use the GoodNotes standard, but you can choose a bunch of those here. And then you can also go in and customize your paper. So there's blank paper, dotted, lined, squares, anything like that. I personally am a fan of dotted paper. And same thing here, you can actually go in and customize the color of the paper. You can do black paper with white writing. You can get, again, very specific and even change the background in the foreground. You want like a really dark grid or lines on the page, pick a darker foreground color. So we're just gonna go with a simple dotted paper and we are going to call this our book journal and get started. To add a page, you can simply just go like this and it will Add a new page, you can just do yes. But for the covers, you can customize this as well. So to start customizing, you're just gonna tap the little pencil up here and this will bring up your toolbar. So you can add anything on here, you can write on here, you can add text and do book journal. You can obviously edit that however you like. So we're just gonna keep it simple for purposes of this tutorial, but you can add stickers, doodles, anything you like on this cover. It is editable. So we're gonna get right into the notebook now and just go over some settings that you might want to edit while you're in it and just go to the three dots up here. You can go down here to scrolling direction. Horizontal is what I usually have it set up, but you can also do vertical. So say you want the notebook to go this way. This is also where you will see your document editing. So the screen lock, pull to add the page, like I showed you, you can turn that on and off, toolbar customization, all that kind of stuff. You wanna go to the pen tool here. If you tap this line right here, you can pull up the stroke settings for the pen. You can do a dotted or a dashed line. This is also where you can set the pen thickness. So for purposes of this, you might wanna do like dashed lines or dotted. Another really cool feature of GoodNotes is if you draw a line and you're like me and you can't really draw it straight, if you just hold it, it'll actually straighten the line for you. You can also do that with shapes. If you go in here to pen settings, draw and hold. And if you have the snap to other shapes, if you went like this and drew a rectangle and hold it, it will snap into a symmetrical shape. 
So for this tutorial, we're gonna set up two basic pages just so you get the gist and then you can truly add as many pages as you want. The beauty of using this kind of custom book journal is whatever you like to do, you can add those pages. Personally for mine, I just wanna do a books read page like this where I can link the pages to a totally blank page and just be creative. I don't personally want a bunch of line items to fill out and things like that, a bunch of information. I just kind of wanted a blank page to just be creative, put a bunch of pictures and stickers on it. So for purposes of this, that's what we're gonna do. Also, once you're in your book journal, this top left four little squares is where you can see all the pages laid out. This is also where you can add pages that way. You can edit and delete pages. So we're just gonna start with a simple books read. So if I have my toolbar here, we're gonna use a text tool. If you have good handwriting, you can handwrite this yourself. I personally like to use the Baskerville, the Bodani text, typewriter text, things like that. But GoodNotes does have a good amount of fonts in here. Let's use like a typewriter for this. Let's do 2025 books red just like if you were on a computer if you just highlight it you can change the sizes if you use the lasso tool right here this is what i use a lot to just grab things and move them around goodnotes also has a ruler right here that you can pull in that i feel like is super helpful to kind of get the center of the page and you can grab it and move it around Looks red, let's grab a little highlighter. Same thing with the highlighter, there's tons of custom options. You can pull up and do literally any color. Let's do like a nice green. I'm very much into green right now. Same thing, you can adjust the highlighter thickness up here. I'm keeping it very simple for purposes of this tutorial, but you kind of get the idea. I'm just going to create those rectangles, like I said, and you saw how bad that rectangle was and it just filled it in. I also have fill to color on, so I actually wanna turn that off for draw and hold fill color. I want that to actually be off for this. To delete something, again, I really like the Lasso, you can just lasso it and delete. Also lasso and then press this little square right here. And this will allow you to adjust the size of any of the shapes or writing text that you put on there. So I'm just going to move this around to the size that I want. And then I'm going to tap it again and press this little double document. This is the copy sign in GoodNotes. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it. And I'm gonna do paste and match style. So you saw that first one, I had to readjust it. So there's like a first line of empty book slots and lasso go around all four, copy it, paste and match style. And now you have a whole page to track your books. So now that I kind of see it on the page, I'm gonna just adjust the spacing a little bit, grab everything, move it up just a little bit. So this is only space enough for 12 books. So say you want to save this as a template so that you can add this same duplicate page in multiple times. What you could do is just copy this page and just add in a few pages, but if you want to save this page as a template just as this background as it is so that you can add it in later when you need it what you want to do is export it so it's this little button right here the up arrow you're going to export just this page in the default file it's going to be a pdf flattened that's what you want and you also want to include the page background as well so that it's an exact replica of this and then for the file we're going to name it books red page 
we're gonna export it. I just like to save it to my files, to my downloads. Save, I can just go here to the plus, more from templates. And then what I can do is add that as a template page. These are the paper templates like that you use when you first created the notebook. If you just scroll over here, you can actually import. You can see I have some others here, but if you just import from the files, books red page, import, it will create a duplicate. And then if you do wanna add a few more by that method, you can swipe. And then if you want to go back in and add just your normal blank page, you can do the add right here and it will show up as the dotted paper and that will replace your template again. So now you just have blank pages. Like I said, remember that now that this is a template and this is a PDF that you imported, you're not gonna be able to lasso and move things around. You can't select it to delete it, but you can write over it, obviously. That is gonna be very useful for things like this. And then you can also go in, you could add page numbers down here so that you can keep track. We're just gonna do an example book. This is my most recent favorite read that I did the book review for. So I'm just gonna add this here. What we wanna do is link this book cover to the actual book review page that we're gonna create. For now, we'll just do just so we remember. To hyperlink the pages within the document, you have to use the text to create a link. So we're just gonna do the book title as the text. We're gonna select it, do link, link settings right here. And then this is where you can either link out to an external website, purposes of this, we're going to link to another page within the notebook. So it says link to document, this document, and then the page, it'll pull up all the pages and you just select what page you want it to link to. Double check it, okay, we're good. You could just put the title right here and have it be just underneath the image. What you also can do is Make it nice and big, put it underneath the image, just select the image, click arrange, and then bring it to front. Turn off your editing tool. To click hyperlinks in GoodNotes, you cannot be on the editing. You need to be on like the view mode like this. And then all you need to do is just tap it. And it took us to that page in the document. And then same thing, if you wanted to do like a return to return to home or whatever, you know, what you want to call it, you could just do the same thing. Add link, this document, choose that page. And then it sends you back. That definitely is one of my favorite features. That really is gonna make this a more seamless experience. Once you're on this page, again, it's just basically up to you what you want to create. You can use the combination of your text, your pen tools, photos, stickers. Again, example, this is kind of more how I like to do it. I don't like to have a lot of lines and grids and information to fill in. When I'm doing a book journal, I just kind of want to be creative. To add photos, you're just going to click this little mountain and moon icon right here. Do from photos and you can pull up anything. What I like to do as well for book journaling is create folders or albums in my photos with everything that I'm going to use. It's just going to make it really easy. So you can have the book cover, Another way that I like to book journal is pull up my photos in a split screen next to GoodNotes. That's all you have to do. And then if you wanna go back into full screen over here, you just tap the three dots here at the top 
and you can go back to full screen. So one of the ways that I really like to book journal is using this feature on the iPad where you can just grab an individual subject from a photo. I don't know if GoodNotes recently did an update or something. It used to be that you could literally just hold down on the image and you can drag it over and it would have a transparent background. But now, as you can see, it's pulling up a white background around it, which is not what I want. So the workaround for that is you do the same thing. You just go over, do share, and just copy it. And then go back over to your GoodNotes and paste it. For whatever reason, that works. Where now you see where it's overlapping, there's no white background. I personally like to use a lot of these kind of paper cutouts and kind of like a more scrapbook element. This is an example of one where it's not allowing me to press and hold it and pick it up. So what I'm actually gonna do is import the whole photo itself. And then what you can do is click it and crop and go down here to freehand crop. And you actually can just manually cut it out, go done. Then you can do it again if you need to. Kind of cut out a little bit closer. Done. So you can find anything that you like to use in here. Just save it in your photos on your iPad and there's multiple ways that you can pull things over. Once you have found a few things that you like on the page and you want to use them again, another element that you can use in GoodNotes is to add it as an element, which is essentially a sticker so that you can use it again in the future and save it into your GoodNotes instead of having to pull it from your photos every time. So to do that, you're just gonna tap on the element you want, click add the element, and you can have all of these collections, which are basically like sticker packs, sticker books. Um, I have one just for paper because I use that a lot. Then when you go this little star sticker icon, tap it twice and you can see all of your collections down here. So you can see I have a ton of paper. You can just pull things right from the elements. Just keep in mind, you have to add things to this elements once they're on the page. So from here, you can just go wild and create all of your own book journal pages. So that is gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you have any other good notes or book journaling videos you would like to see on the channel. I do have an entire playlist of me creating a lot of journal spreads, specifically one in my own book journal that I have made here. You can see this is kind of an example of something that you could set up yourself just by using all of the methods that I just showed you here. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.